87 as we bring in Kevin Robinson is definitely above average for this time of year, but that's about to change. I can best you one, Mike. How about this? 90 for a high today, making today a record across the area. But now that's all going to change over the next couple of hours because we do have a cold front dropping across the area, and it's triggering a few stray showers, mainly to the south and east of Cincinnati or south and east of Interstate 71. That's where the best chance will be over the next couple of hours. I'll take you down here into Claremont County between Amelia and Bethel, for example, over around Saltier. This is going to drop down towards Mount Olive, maybe even over towards Hammersville, crossing the Brown County, possibly making it as far down as Georgetown if it continues. But Saltair over towards Mount Olive, a brief five, six minute shower. That's about it. Then drop south of the Ohio River into the Brooksville area between Brooksville and Mount Olivet. Another one of these stray showers that is flared up right now. It's going to be dropping from Powersville down in the direction of Mount Olivet, maybe over towards Mays Lick as well. So watch out again, mainly south and east of Cincinnati this evening. You do run the risk of a stray shower or two. Any shower, any rain won't last long, maybe five to 10 minutes. Worst case scenario. The big story, though, for the next couple of hours, it's going to be turning cooler around here. Right now, we're in the mid 80s. We're going to be falling back into the 60s by the time you join us for News 5 at 11 o'clock. Well, as I mentioned there at the start of, my, start of my forecast, record heat today. Today's high 90. That ties a record set back in 1998, and that makes for our 11th time this year we have hit 90 degrees or warmer. Outside right now, you can see a few clouds around as that cold front's passing through. We're down to 87 at the airport. The cold front is through Cincinnati, and you can tell because our winds have switched around to the northwest now, and humidity levels are beginning to drop, and that's something else you'll continue to notice through the better part of the evening. Temperatures it range from 90 in Maysville to 88 in Georgetown, and if you notice, it gets progressively cooler. By the time you reach southeast Indiana, temperatures have fallen back into the low 80s, and that's evidence of that cool air sliding in. So here's a cold front. You can see it flaring up pretty close to the Ohio River this afternoon. Some clouds will drift overhead tonight, but the real story again is the temperature fall coming. It will turn cooler later tonight, and then by tomorrow morning, temperatures will start the day in the 50s. I expect mostly sunny skies for your Thursday. Tomorrow will be a nice day with plenty of sunshine, except for temperatures are going to be about 15 to 20 degrees cooler out there. So not cold, but it certainly will be a change from the record setting heat that we've been recently experiencing. So by tomorrow morning, we'll drop down to a low of 57, just a few clouds overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, lots of sunshine, but much cooler again, only 72 for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner, 57 to start out for a cooler morning. We'll climb only into the mid 60s. At lunchtime today, we were pushing 90 degrees, so that will be the difference. And then into the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Check this out, Mike and Sheree. Look at this seven day here. After the threat for a few showers this evening, this is what you got to love about fall in Cincinnati. You can get temperatures in the 70s and 80s with sunshine from start to finish occasionally on a seven day. You approve? I uh, very much approve. I love it. Nice job.